Hello and welcome to the third video in the series of the introduction to the gentle roller. In this section I'd like to introduce you to the inventor, Philip, who will present to you what the gentle roller is all about. Welcome Philip. Hello Jenny, how are you? Not bad, thank you. That's good. Hello viewers. I'll just uh, turn the machine on. Okay, I've got my cheat sheet here just to make sure that we cover all aspects that we need to. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the overall look of the gentle roller. It's very different to other felt rollers out there. Um, how did you come up with, um, with this design? Okay, well, one of the criteria I had for designing a rolling machine was uh, aesthetics. He didn't like the look of existing machines on the market, and neither did I. Uh, typically all the machines on the market feature very large screw-down clamps, which make the unit bulky. I did away with those. And other machines on the market feature a large triangular series of drums, and the felt sits in the middle, and I was able to do away with those. So. Eliminating the big triangular drums, eliminating the big screw down clamps, I ended up with a much more streamlined and aesthetic machine and something rather colourful and pretty sexy if I say so myself. Well, we'll put aside the sexiness of the machine. Well, can you tell us about the drive roller and how that um, aids in the lubrication of hand rolling? Sure, the drive roller is the heart of the machine. It's just this uh, central roller here and the um, inspiration for the drive roller was Janie's pool noodle because when Janie rolls felt she typically rolls it around a pool noodle and then rubs it backwards and forwards oscillating it and massaging it as she goes. I took Janie's pool noodle and turned it into a oscillating drive roller which connects into the machine with a hex drive plate at this end and a simple slide bar which we can lock into place and it's in place and the motor drives the drive roller backwards and forwards replicating hand rolling and you have two smaller rollers on the other side of the drive roller what are these these rollers there for? There are two rollers on this machine, and these I call my idle rollers. Idle because they don't do any powered work, they simply respond to the drive roller. The idle rollers connect into the teeth on the little slide mechanism here, and I'll just turn it on. And you can see that as the drive roller is driven forward and backwards in its oscillating motion, the idle roller responds to it and it's just the force of gravity bringing them together. You can in fact use three idle rollers with a third one on the top, creating three points of contact. It is indeed a very clever way of um addressing my key criteria of replicating hand rolling. It does. It another one of my hand rolling perfectly. Sorry, Philip, but another one of my key criteria was um, safety. How have you addressed my concern with safety? In a number of ways, uh, one of which we've just uh, alluded to there. I'll just turn it on. Because my idle rollers are held in place purely by gravity, they're not forced down with screw clamps, if anything comes between the drive roller and the idle roller, the idle roller simply lifts out of the way. So you can't get anything stuck. Uh, there's no fear of uh, injury because the idle roller is simply held in with gravity and completely moves out of the way. Other aspects are the motor is completely uh, encased within the motor housing. Uh, some models on the marketplace have exposed motors and exposed wires which are rather unsafe particularly in a wet or damp environment. Um, third area is I power my motor with a laptop transformer. It's a 24 volt DC motor 
Some machines use household electricity, uh, 240 volts in Australia, 110 in the States, I believe. And um, I kept high voltage electricity well away from the machine and use a 24 volt DC motor. Now that's a couple of the safety features that appear on this particular unit. Okay, your design also uses the pretty nifty um, touch screen, um, which makes operation of the gentle roller very easy. And it's also quite um, attractive and journey proof. Uh, it's, it is journey proof. It's not uh, actually a touch screen, but it is um, touch pad, touch pad, touch button. The I'll go through in another video exactly how to use the touch screen and what the key features are. But in summary, the touch pad allows you to control four key criteria. One, it allows you to control the speed of the gentle roller, the speed that it oscillates at. Secondly, it allows you to control the distance of each motion forward and the distance of each motion backwards. And uh, fourthly, it's a, a counting device and you set up the number of cycles you wish to complete, turn it on, it'll run through that many cycles and when it finishes it'll give three little beeps, beeping sounds to let you know that the cycle has finished. So you don't have to be there um, sitting or standing over your data roller waiting for the cycle to finish and go on with other things. You, can, you will probably want to sit and stand and stare at it when it first arrives and after that uh, you'll be getting on with other things and just allowing the gentle roller to do its thing. Okay, um, one of my other major concerns in, uh, from the outset was that um, I would be relinquishing my artistic st skills to um, an automated process. Can you say something to me about that or to others who may have similar concerns? Yes, sure. Um, I believe quite strongly that the majority of the artistic skill involved in felting is in the selection of colours, uh, colourways, fabrics, materials, and that is where the chief of the artist skills skill lays. It's in the selection of, of colours and layups. Uh, rolling, if there is any skill involved, it is more one of consistency being able to consistently roll the same length each time. So Which is what I actually struggled with. Yes. Um, because of my back problems. You notice with a, a lot of people, they'll do full rolls in the morning and partial rolls in the afternoon as their body tires. And if there is any skill removed from the, uh, the artist, it's the fact that the gentle roller is consistent, consistent and efficient. It'll do the same roll morning, noon and night and it'll do it consistently. Okay, um, what is the gentle roller's promise um, to felt makers out there? In simple terms, the gentle roller's promise is that whether you are a novice felt roller or a experienced fibre artist, it will allow you to roll for longer, it will allow you to roll more consistently and ultimately it will allow you to roll better felt. So. There you have it. The gentle roller is an investment in your craft. If you're a committed felt maker, um, I think you should seriously consider uh, purchasing one of these gentle roller machines. Um, thanks, Philip, for presenting us to your lovely invention, and um, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Cheers.